So Taika Waititi Alun. Do you remember who this person is? Uh, give me, remind me. Uh, you recently watched a movie of his on an airplane sitting next to me. Oh, right. Jojo. That's right. He made Jojo Rabbit and starred in Jojo Rabbit as Adolf Hitler. He also directed Thor Ragnarok, my favorite of the three Thor films. So it was just tweeted by Netflix on Thursday. Taika Waititi will write, direct, and executive produce two animated series based on the works of Roald Dahl. Did I say that right? Roald Dahl. How's it spelled? R-O-A-L-D. I mean, very fair. We all know who it is, but I just don't often say his name out loud. Hmm. The first is based on the world and characters of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The second is a wholly original take on the Oompa Loompas, on the <laughs> Oompa Loompas that builds out their world. So first off, how do you got, what is your relationship to Willy Wonka and or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Are you fans of the book? Are you fans of the original Gene Wilder take? The more recent Johnny Depp take? Or do you just not care? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, my favorite part of, first of all, the new one, the newer one with Johnny Depp, I never think about. The older one with Gene Wilder. I'm sorry for bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I you know. I, my favorite part about that was Gene Wilder. Right. It's not really the rest of it that, to me, is like, I mean, I'm sure it is memorable to a lot of people. To me, the most memorable part, memorable part is Gene Wilder. Come on, that little kid turning into a big blueberry. It's great stuff. Yeah. No, it's cool. <laughs> if they bring back that and Gene Wilder, oh. nah, it's too late, unfortunately. <laughs> Vince, <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I just remember that golden ticket, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I wish I could have a golden ticket. <laughs> That's all I cared about was finding a piece of chocolate with that ticket. Never found one. <laughs> finding a piece of chocolate. With... <laughs> it's like, it was a documentary, right? <laughs> I, I, uh, I mean, I enjoyed the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder. For some reason, I remember being super excited for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp. I think that was back when people loved Johnny Depp. And it was back when I still really liked Tim Burton. And so I thought, this world, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where it's got that kind of dark underpinning, was perfect for someone like Tim Burton and someone like Johnny Depp to take on. Also, for some reason, I always just like the idea of there being this sort of darker underbelly in a, in a movie that's geared towards children, so kind of adults have this way in too, where there's this whole layer you see that they don't see. But then the movie came out, and you know, it wasn't great, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They got to make a, an R-rated horror, horror film version. Yeah. I that mean, would be amazing. I, I could see it being sort of like a Freddy uh, Nightmare on Elm Street type thing, yeah. where they go into his factory, but it's, you know, instead of dreams, it's... A factory. <laughs> <laughs> you like chocolate? Mm -hmm. And then he drowns them or something. I mean, it would be a lot like the original movie. I guess just a little bit gorier. Huh. huh. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Nobody steal that. <laughs> I don't know if we can get the rights to that. <laughs> um, so Taika Waititi also, I think if they're going to do this, these animated series, he's pretty much, I think he's a great fit for that because he does do a good mix of the... I mean, he did Jojo Rabbit, where it's it's a Holocaust-centered movie with a lot of comedic elements. So if you're talking about a sort of blend of dark and comedy, I think he's the guy to go to. I also said his Thor movie was my favorite of the three. He was also great as the IG-11 robot in um, Mandalorian. He voiced that robot. The one with the guns? Yeah. Yeah, that was a cool robot. So... I have a feeling this hasn't been announced. I mean, that tweet from Netflix is all we know. But Taika Waititi as Willy Wonka feels like a natural fit to me. I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, these animated series, I if they're geared towards children, probably I'm not interested. But if they can strike a similar tone as the Gene Wilder take, where I think adults can enjoy that as much as kids... And maybe that's what they're going to do, because there's the Charlie and the Chocolate Factor series, then the Oompa Loompa series. The Oompa Loompa one feels kind of like Minions or something to mm. me. Maybe that's the kids' version, and then the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, series 
would be a, a Castlevania esque take <laughs> on uh, <laughs> probably won't be that, but something that adults can enjoy where it's got some of that darkness, just some of that Gene Wilder, Johnny Depp weirdness. That would be kind of cool. Any other final thoughts on, on um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if there's going to be any kind of crossover between the two shows or if they're going to be treated as standalone. Oh, for the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory verse. We can get yeah. multiple series <laughs> crossing over with each other. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs>